Well, it's certainly the hottest and hardest ticket to get in this part of country. I'm talking about the Smithsonian's new African American Museum in Washington, D.C. Now, there is a three month wait list to see the thousands of exhibits at the Montrose Museum dedicated to telling the history of blacks in this country. However, right here in our own backyard on Delmarva are a number of African American museums with plenty of stories and rich history to tell. A testimony in solidarity, a monument to courage. This hall is an act of collective will. It embraces... Delmarva is rich in black history and is full of African-American museums that have important stories to tell, such as the Charles Sumner Hall in Chestertown. And it's a special building. Everyone that walks in here can pretty much tell that, yeah, this is a special place. After fighting in the Civil War, 28 African-American men returned to Chestertown and founded the Charles Sumner Post Number 25 of the Grand Army of the Republic. And so th there's a lot of history here um, in terms of what this building stood for and stood for the community in terms of helping people and outreach and, and, and just doing whatever needed to be done to support people in the community. For blacks living in Kent County, Maryland, this hall later became known as the place to be and see musical legends. Performers of the quality of Ella Fitzgerald and uh, the Sisters of Rhythm and have appeared here in upstairs on that stage up there. That's the Charles Sumner Hall in Chestertown. Now, a little further south on the midshore in Cambridge is the well-known Harriet Tubman Museum. That's a tribute to Tubman, who spent a third of her life in Dorchester County before escaping in 1849. It was shortly thereafter that she started the now legendary Underground Railroad. We know that during the 50s up until 1850 up until around 1857, she made at least 11 trips within the vicinity of Dorchester County to help members of the Ross family to escape uh, this area. And she was very successful and that she never lost, uh, as she would say, a passenger on the Underground uh, Railroad. It's a humble museum in downtown Cambridge, but one that is rich in Harriet Tubman history, and also that of other African-American history on Maryland's eastern shore. Uh, uh, a wall of portraits of Harriet Tubman, which are all after the Civil War. We also have uh, paintings and artwork where individuals are trying to show us what she might have looked like when she was younger. We cater to all ages. We do step on tours, as I said, uh, where we get on a bus and take people along the um, uh, 125 mile Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad by byway. Also, a little further in Dorchester County and opening next month on March 12th in Church Creek, Maryland, is the brand new Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad Visitor Center. This hopes to tell Tubman's story like never before. Tubman is timeless. She speaks that regardless of your disadvantages, you can make choices and decisions that positively impact your community and in Tubman's case, the nation. Now, they wouldn't let us get a sneak peek inside the new 16,000 square foot building, which will be run by the Maryland Park Service, as they're planning some amazing exhibits on 17 acres, documenting Harriet Tubman's influence on the Eastern Shore and this country. Now, for more information on the African American Museums on Delmarva, and folks, they are fantastic. Their visiting hours and their tours, you can get it now on the website, delmarvalife.com.